Providence, Rhode Island, home to seven colleges and a thriving art scene. This Renaissance city is a constant beehive of activity. In 2005, Abby and her best friend Rico bought a restaurant called Down City, smack in the center of town. Rico and I were on the beach one day and I told him that I was interested in buying Down City and he said, I want to own a restaurant too. I was spending a lot of money in restaurants, eating and drinking, and I figured why not give myself the money instead. <laughs> Make it a double. He has a full-time day job, and my job is to take care of everything in this restaurant. You start with all the specials, I'm gonna get the wine. Okay. Well, I've been in the restaurant business for 33 years, so the decisions I make, I really don't consult, reek out about them, I just do them. And this would go perfectly with the pork special. I am the checkbook behind Down City, and I was putting 100% of my faith in Abby. But at this point, it's not going well. I need more asses in the seats. I think it's a beautiful restaurant. I think our menu is creative, and the food is good. I don't know what's wrong. What's all fucked up? Abby has her blindfolds on because she doesn't want to admit that she's part of the problem. Just give him, no, let me do it. Abby acts like. Whatever, don't argue. Corella DeVille. <laughs> I just let an answer when I call something out. Abby is a complete psycho fucking bitch. I just want an answer. Which is a recipe for utter disaster. I had fixed it yesterday. I checked it before I left. Is this like really fucking happening? I'm not yelling, I'm talking. They think that this is a democracy and it's not. If you cannot follow my rules, then get the fuck out. As long as you work for me, you do it my way and upset. It's basically Abby's way of the highway and it's definitely why a restaurant's failing. Welcome to my nightmare. There's no consistency. It's just like mushrooms. If people are complaining about the food, maybe there's something wrong with the food. It is impossible for the fries to be ice cold. Maybe just Abby saying it's great does not make it great. That's how the plate is prepared. Do you not like it? No. She built this 50-item menu that is just horrible. They hate the chicken pie arts. What? Nobody can say anything about the menu because it's her menu. She takes it personally. Maybe they're not the right decisions, but they're my decisions. I have to get Abby on board to move forward because my life is at stake here. All I think about is why people are not coming to my restaurant. If something happened here where I had to declare bankruptcy, it could very strongly affect my day job. That's stress. We've got all these bills to pay this weekend. That's the stack. This week. I've called upon Chef Ramsey because of his honesty and bluntness but he's gonna have his work cut out for him. <laughs> I guarantee. Hello. Hello, Chef Ramsey. How are you? Welcome to Down City, nice to meet you. Likewise, my pleasure. And your first name is? Abby. Abby, good to see you. Love and you're too. the owner? I'm the owner, general manager, everything. Yep. My business partner is in here, he'll come in tonight. Okay, great. Yep, his name is Rico. Right, so you're trained classically in terms of? Absolutely not, you would not want me to cook you anything. Oh, really? And on a scale of one to 10, mark the food, what would you say, where are we? It's a 10. Wow. It's wow, wow, wow. Yes. Perfect. I'm starving because the room service next door was shocking. The, wait a minute, wait, the room service next door was shocking? What do you mean it was shocking? Uh, I, there's a little hotel next door, a little boutique hotel. We do the room service for that hotel, what was the problem? Honestly? Yeah. That was embarrassing. Why? What did you have? This pissy, grainy soup that was stone cold. Hold on, it gets worse. Crab cakes that were stone cold in the center. It was just like this ball of mush. Disgusting. 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 Whoa. I was like, oh, damn, he went there. He just really went there. That's impossible. That's impossible that the crab cakes are stone cold. You're telling me I'm exaggerating? I think you're one of those customers that I would fire immediately. Yeah. You fire customers? I have. OK. Well, let me sit down and eat. Can I suggest something? I don't want you to suggest anything, because if okay. you're now telling me that that room service was you at your best, I'm shitting myself before I start eating. Wow. Let me tell you that. Wow. Wow. I don't know what he's talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Where would you like me to sit? I'm going to go right Thank over you. here. Excellent. Describe the food for me. Um, comfort food, middle of the road. Middle of the road? When was the last time somebody sent food back? <laughs> today. <laughs> oh, today? Oh, you did? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> OK. 
Um, I'll look through the menu. Is this Could I suggest something, or no? You don't uh, want my suggestion? If you're going to talk to me honestly, fine. If you're going to start, you know, going defensive... I'm not going to get defensive. I'm just defending what we do here. Now, Abby, I'm not here to argue. You asked me to come here and look at this place to help you out. Let's get one thing clear straight away. Cut the bullshit. Okay. If you're going to sit there and start bullshitting I'm me, not sitting, I'm standing. I'm going to go for your balls, big time. Wow. When you just told me five minutes ago that the food's 10 out of 10, the room service is perfect, basically I'm going to eat and I'm going to leave, unless you start telling me the truth. I, I don't know where you're coming from. I really don't know where you're coming from. Let me from. the I truth. I absolutely me... think you're fucking full of shit. I've been here five minutes and already you're in denial. I'm not in denial. I will back up anything my kitchen does. Fine. I'm open-minded. Can I order the food? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Go for it. Appreciate it. Wow, what a welcoming. Yeah, welcome to Providence. Didn't know they did female cage fighters. Holy crap. Boy, I can't wait till Rico gets here. Hi, how are you? I'm Rolfing. Well, how are you? Good, good, good. And this is Josh. Josh, good to see you. Welcome to Dallas City. So nice to see that friendly face. Thank you. Um, is the owner, Abby, always that defensive? Yeah. It's scaring me. <laughs> okay, appetizers, calamari. Yeah. Crispy rings with hot sweet pepper sauce. Yeah, I'll go for some of that. Okay. You don't spell peppers like that either. No, I guess you don't. I didn't even know that. How long have you been here? Three years. Three years. Okay, uh, three way nachos. It says uh, it's a party in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if it's good enough to be put on the menu, I'm going to try it. So I'll go for party in your mouth. Okay. And the um, award-winning meatloaf. That's our claim to fame. <laughs> really? Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. Please, may God, we don't die in Rhode Island. OK, this is Gordon Ramsay's order. Let's make Gordon's food. I'm a good cook, but uh, that is not my menu. Of course, I want to do well, but I'm not sure what Chef Ramsay's going to think. He's like, is this how you spell peppers in America? Three P, because it's B-E-P-P? -P? Yeah. There's three P's in there. There is. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh, thank you. Good nice to see to meet you. Likewise. Jason. Gordon, good to see you. So you're waiter. The waiter, yes. Dining room manager, yes. Brilliant. And being the head waiter, how would you describe the food here? Below par. Yeah. Abby said it was a ten. <laughs> so I'm in for a treat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> calamari? Okay. Well, this is the crispy calamari. Calamari, yes. Ooh. And um, why is it looking so wet? Uh, it's a uh, sauce that they toss it in. <laughs> Just say that again. You fry it. They fry it. And then you... And they toss it in the sauce. <laughs> and it's soaking wet. All the crispy batter is just coming off. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's not mine. Yeah, it certainly is not mine either. Uh, but, however, I'm optimistic. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I mean, look at that there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm done on that one. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. I don't understand it. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Soggy, chewy, disgusting calamari. Shocking. What do you say about it? You spit the calamari back out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. What was he bitching about? You spit it out. I'm gonna, like, go at his throat today. And this is a party in your mouth? <laughs> this is the party in my mouth. Should be. Top plate, very hot. It looks dreadful. I think I've just thrown up in my mouth. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, boy. I'm taking it that was one party you didn't want to attend. It wasn't a party in my mouth. It was like a funeral in my mouth. A funeral? <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of does look like something died. <laughs> What's the matter with that? That's gross. What? We're not doing too good here. I was ready to, like, choke him. Maybe this is the one thing I like. He doesn't like anything. Maybe this will be the one. What, the meatloaf? Well, maybe this will be it. Wow, well, that's the meatloaf. Okay. And this is the um, award-winning. The award-winning meatloaf. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you. You're welcome. It doesn't move on there, does it? Ooh. <laughs> wow. That's disgusting. What do we think? Wow. It's not even hot. I'm sorry. It's sort of lukewarm, solidified chunks of crap. That's pretty much the norm. <laughs> it must be freaking embarrassing if you just serve this. It is embarrassing. I don't like the meatloaf here at all. We set ourselves up for disappointment when we put award winning in front of it. What was the problem with meatloaf? It's disgusting. Can you be more specific? I didn't hear, I didn't hear what he said. I'm going to have to ask him. Abby and Chef Ramsay are going to go to blows. Can I have a word with the team? It's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. So 
The food was shocking. Below par, disgusting, dated shit. So, who is the head chef here? We don't really have one, but I guess... What do you mean I, you don't have a head I, chef? But I guess I'm the closest thing. The closest? What does that mean? Talk to me, Abby. That means that I fired my other chef and he took over and I didn't want to give him a title until he proved to himself that he could handle the kitchen. Abby, what you're employing is a ship with no captain at the helm and the team desperate for guidance. No guidance is no standards. No standards is no consistency. So who came up with a menu? If this is American comfort food, somebody's dreaming here. I did. So, I did. I take full responsibility for the menu. You have no cooking background, but you put the menu together. Abby, you've got to understand how frustrating this is. It's ridiculous. I don't know what to say. Fix it. You fix it. That's why you're oh, here. Oh, come on, Abby. How can I fix it when you stand there in front of your team, rating you and your restaurant and your food 10 out of 10 dreamer? I don't, I don't think it's as I bad as you say it's, I it is. Stop being in denial. Can you be more specific about the meatloaf? What did you not like about the meatloaf? Oh, shit! Can you say something besides... Just loopy! I've been called worse than that. Wake up and admit it's shit! Bring it on. Oh, come bring on. Bring it on. What do you mean, bring it on? To have Chef Ramsay say, everything you've done, everything that you've dreamed of doing is shit. I was blown away. I need some fresh air. After Chef Ramsay's harsh critique... The food was shocking, dated and tasteless. Abby has a conversation with the one person she believes is always right, herself. So what do I do? Like, just get out of the restaurant business? Then obviously my 33 years in the business is, like, worthless and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. OK. I think I'm going to open up that hot dog stand down the beach. Want some tea or something? No. I believe from the bottom of my heart that he's he's wrong. I really don't care what he says. Well, he's completely full of shit. Like seriously, our meatloaf is like what put us on the map. I mean, it's great. I don't like the meatloaf. You really don't? I honestly don't. We had it the other night together. What? What? What didn't you like about it? I think our food is mediocre. Like it's not. Mini me, seriously. You are telling me now you don't like it? We eat it because we're here. Yeah. This is not my restaurant of choice. I will not dine here in my off time. You're saying for what we serve, comfort food, meatloaf, pasta, steak, whatever. It's you're not saying up for to those? Par even for that. No, no. So now you're all telling me that you don't like the menu? I feel stabbed in the back, I guess. You're just hitting me with this now. Do you know what we're up against if we even opened our mouth about the menu once? Every time we opened our mouth, fuck off, fuck you. You don't know anything. We're all at a point now where we're just like, if this is what she wants, let's just serve it out. We'll take it out of the window and bring it to the table. And try and make the what best are we going to have an opinion about now? Oh, you're so full of shit. No, 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 no. You're Say so full of shit. Talk to us. No. Without a doubt, she's in denial. It's an hour before dinner service, and Down City's other owner, Rico, shows up. Hello. Unaware of what happened earlier, but that's quickly about to change. How are you? I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> One of those days? I think it's time for Abby to find out that the outbursts and treating employees badly, I think it's definitely time she has someone other than myself telling her, you can't be doing this. Yeah. Wow. I, didn't I, have, I have another asshole, a whole other asshole back here. I've just been ripped open. Make it a double. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? I'll get up. I'll go say hi. Gordon, good to see you. Nice to meet you, I'm Rico. Rico, now, have you got two minutes? Sure. We're gonna catch up? Uh, where should we go? Yeah, let's go there. the end. He may rip me apart too, but I just want this restaurant to work, so let's get turning it around. Uh, what a day. Um, obviously, you weren't here for lunch. Just explain what you do during the day. Um, I work for Credit Union during the day. I do their mortgages for them. Okay, wow. So, finance? Yes, finance. And then you bought a restaurant? And I bought a restaurant. How's that worked out for you so far? Oh, horribly. If we had to close this tomorrow, what are you in for? Nine. Shit, really? Mm -hmm. This is quite serious shit now. Oh, yeah. What happens if it fails? I could possibly lose my day job. Really? Because I'm in the financial field. I'm advising people on what to do with their mortgaging and financing their properties and things like that. So you're up to there? 
you've got a big stake in this restaurant and a huge amount of jeopardy if it fails. Mm -hmm. You're right. There's a line that I walk in here, a very fine line. I have a lot of at stake, but I totally let Abby run the restaurant and maybe this a mistake on my part. With dinner service already underway. What about something to drink to get you started? Chef Ramsay is eager to spend some time in the kitchen to see how it functions. Wow, tight behind the line. So who's in what? Explain the line to me. Uh, this is our kitchen, and then we have our salad to right. down there. Jesus, uh, why is the place so messy? Is the kitchen normally this filthy? The last couple of days, it's been uh, a lot going on. That is foul. With the kitchen in disarray, Chef Ramsay goes on the hunt to find out what is lurking below. Oh, my God. Oh, this is gross down here. Holy crap. Look at that, lamb bones. Just dumped in there like that. What is that? Chicken carcasses. Oh, my God. And while Chef Ramsay has his hands full in the walk-in... God knows what that is. Abby has her hands full in the dining room. Abby. I need a new calamari with the sauce on the side because it says it's too mushy. Can I have another calamari with the sauce on the side, please? It needs to be cooked a little more. Is it? Yeah, I'll take it out of the way for you. I need a spin dip. This is cold. I'm going out of my mind right now. It's a nightmare. Can we just 86 this special? Every single one of them has been sent back. Uh, Rico, Abby, I just need one minute of just both you together. One minute. Why is right now? Like, are you kidding me? Have a look in there. Look at the state of what they're cooking out of. Have you any idea what's in what box, uh, what goes where? Over here, now you've got a little bag of uh, chicken carcasses. On this one here, you've got some raw chicken, cooked pork there. This is you with 30 years in the business. Yeah, hold on, it gets worse. I don't know what that is. Well, look at the cheese or something, but what is that there? What is that? What, you lost the words? The place is a filthy mess. Look, what is that? Lamb bones? And who's organising this? You haven't got a head chef. Jimmy is my head chef. So we have a head chef. Before you weren't ready to confirm he was a head chef, all of a sudden we discover a mess down here. Now, he's appointed. This Rico, why don't we just celebrate and just get out of this business? Why don't we what? It's like, I was talking to Rico. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with me? No. Excuse me, what do you think I'm doing? I mean, I... I'm you're being, you're being a fucking asshole. This wasn't like this. Hold on it a wasn't like this. I don't hold, run a kitchen like this. Hold on a minute. You're calling me a fucking asshole? I am. You stuck up, precious little bitch. Let me tell you oh something. Oh, boy. Here we go. Listen to me. I'm not going to listen to you. You're in denial. I'm not in denial. Yes, you are. I'm not in yes, denial. you are. And you can't even fuck accept you. it. Fuck there, you. You'll walk out again. I am. Fuck you. There you go. Flip the bird. That's your attitude, and that's your partner. I'm really sorry, but this wasn't like this before I got here. She's deluded that woman. You are insane. You are like... Yeah, blame me all you want. These excuses that you're insane. I'm insane. You're insane. You can't even be fucking, fucking true. You're fucking insane. That refrigerator was not like that before you got here. You're in denial. Flip out again. I would no. never allow that refrigerator to and look like bones, that. And those bones, the mouldy lamb bones. I don't even perfect. talk to my staff like this. Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. I will go. Get the fuck out of my I restaurant, will go. please. You are so okay. in denial. Okay. You need therapy. You're a disgrace to this industry. I'll see you and get out of my restaurant. Are you still here? Not now, guys. Please. Please, please. Fuck him. Right from the beginning, Chef Ramsay and Abby have clashed. Stop being in denial! I don't think it's as bad as you say. Dreamer! But after a confrontation over the state of the walk-in... You're being a fucking asshole. This wasn't like this. You're calling me a fucking asshole? Fuck you. Abby has completely lost it. You are not insane. You are like... Yeah, blame me all you want. These excuses that you're insane. I'm insane. You're insane. And while she has had enough of Chef Ramsay... Get the fuck out of my house, please. You are so in denial. You need therapy. He has had enough of her. You're a disgrace in this industry. Fuck you and get out of my restaurant. Are you still here? Not now, guys. Please. Please, please. Fuck him. Chef Ramsay. Hey, guys, I need some privacy, please. This is, uh, 
Too serious. Um, I'm not going to jeopardise 25 years busting my ass off in this industry to take that from someone so in denial. Mm -hmm. I really don't need this. I would rather this restaurant close than have him in here. That refrigeration unit was a mess. Mm -hmm. Behind the line was a mess. I'm really sorry. Honestly, she's got to start listening. I, I know. I, and I don't know how to make her do it. I really... I don't know. Is he, he's coming back tonight, isn't he? I don't give a fuck where he goes. He can go to hell for all I care. If you want me to leave, I'm out of here. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. OK, I need your help. I've got my 100% support. 100%. OK, I'm going to go for a walk, and I'll come back. OK? okay? Thank you. Thank you. Abby needs to be on board with us and stop her denial of everything. We have to break through it. I feel pretty shit. How would you feel if someone is telling you that your life's work and everything you've dreamed of doing for your whole life um, is shit? Now I'm completely questioning myself and I hope we can have a conversation about what needs to be done in this restaurant. After a volatile evening that included a massive blow up with Chef Ramsay and a weak dinner service, Abby has been clearly humbled and seems ready to finally listen to what Chef Ramsay has to say. Okay, let's agree on something. Today's been a shit day. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Absolute shit. I'm not here to rub your face in it. Let's get that right. Okay. But Abby, you know, I've had failure in my life. But one thing I'm not in is denial. And when I do make a mistake, I admit it. I understand. So tomorrow we need to start being honest and open so I can start rebuilding. I can't rebuild on BS. I agree. I want you to be here. I want you to help me get this restaurant to where I need it to be. Where we know it can be. Yeah. Tomorrow we start again, get some rest. It's a new day, and Abby and Rico are on board for change. Morning, morning, morning. But before that can happen, Chef Ramsay wants to give the staff something they have been rarely given, a chance to talk freely without getting fired. So this is what we're going to do. I want each of you to write down some questions and direct them to the person you want them to answer. This is going to be another hell day for me. Don't sign your name. It's anonymous. I knew that if we were going to do an exercise um, in talking about the restaurant, I knew that it was all going to be directed at me. Thank you very much. OK, good. Here's the, uh, the first one. Wow. Abby, wine is the menu. So huge. We are uh, just um, to give the customer more choices. But the amount of dishes is absurd. And the more dishes, the lower the standard. Uh, Abby and Jimmy, the quality of the food needs to improve. How can we fix it? Good question. It, and it all comes down to menu size. With as many items that are, there are, if you prep 50 items just for dinner alone, and then the dessert menu, if you can't prep enough stuff, yeah. it's, it's like you, you just can't do it. Who's putting all those dishes on there? Abby. Yeah. Abby. When I put this menu together, I just expected my staff to just do this menu. Abby, why do you not allow anyone to express their opinions without it being seen as a personal attack to you? Since I bought this restaurant, I became a defensive bitch. I question and I get upset at the fact that you're questioning what I'm doing. That's paranoia. We do care about this restaurant. You are our friends. So we want to see you succeed. And the answer I've gotten from you in the past is, fuck you, that's not true. We're just here for money. Or we're just here what? because we're just here because we can't get other jobs and stuff. And it's it's hurtful because when you invest so much time and you do, we would do anything for you. And I completely realized that we've just got to talk more instead of me yelling and screaming. It can't just be my show. It's not the Abbey show, it's the Down City show. Are you ready to embrace change? Yeah, absolutely. Major change. Absolutely. I think this experience is making Abby realize that she has to relinquish control. And I think she's going to do it because I think Abby turning around is definitely paramount for this restaurant to survive.
Right, Jimmy, let's get one. As Abby's menu was clearly bogging down the kitchen, Chef Ramsay has gone through it and scaled it back. Tonight, I'm just gonna keep it really simple. For tonight's dinner service, half the items are off the menu, and he's introducing a roasted chicken special. Just take the breast, fat side down, just cut through. Everyone's excited, and we can't have another night like the previous few. It's time to get it right. Happy? Happy. Makes it a lot more simple. Big time. Folks, good evening. Welcome to Down City. Follow me. Did you guys decide on appetizers? We're going to have an order of the calamari. So we're doing two calamaris? Oh, let's get the grilled chicken breast, please. Chicken breast? Yes. I've got to get everyone involved if we are going to take Down City to the next step, to the next level. All right, here we go. Order fire, calamari, fazé salad, nishwa salad. Make sure everything comes up at the same time. Tonight's smaller menu is having an immediate impact. Wipe the plates, please. Better prepared appetizers are quickly leaving the kitchen. That's 37, that's up. These um, appetizers go to 39. Can you help her run? And when you combine that with a calm and under control Abby at the helm. Can you run this to the next table, please? Down City's dinner service is off to a good start. Chicken is very delicious. Oh, yeah. Order fire, calamari, another frisee salad, no egg. Jimmy, we've got to bang all these um, know, entrees I know, out. I know. Here, you're on apps. You're on table 28. Now I'm confused on where we are for apps. You need table 28. I don't even have a 36 up here. What are you talking I don't, about? I didn't say oh, 36. One, two, three. Come on, guys. There's nothing coming out. Jimmy was supposed to be the leader in the kitchen, calling out tickets. Do me a favor. Get two of the, Oh, you're doing something? And they just started crossing paths. No one seems to know what the hell they were doing back there. 29 and 39. Yes or no? No, I'm still waiting on 28. Oh, fucking one. It's an hour and a half into a dinner service that started out as promising. Can I have some food up in the window, please? No, dude, dude, this couscous is runny and gross. But unfortunately, has declined rapidly. They're not even here. That's all the way down there. They have none of this. And not surprisingly, diners are losing their patience. If it's not here within like, the next five minutes, I'm probably going to cancel it. Can I get something up on the line, please? Yeah, right now, right now. Jimmy's doing all three sections. He's covering the grill, he's covering the salmon, he's covering the chicken, he's trying to run the kitchen as well at the same time. He's got nothing behind him. Oh, my God, what a shit show. Oh, we've been here since 6.30, and it's already 25 of them. We still don't have our entree. I know. I'm, I'm going to so, go check so on your entree right now. This is right my food. Now. I've got people that had put their orders in an hour and 15, hour and a half, some of them. Where the fuck was that food? Let's uh, find our server and, and let's just go. Did that refried chicken go? Give it to him. I need it right now, please. Come on, is it your first time at the rodeo? Play it up. Guys, I got food dying in the windows. Chris, please. Yeah, I can't take this. It was a disgrace. It was horrifying. It was embarrassing. Don't make this. They just walk. Oh my god. We need a whole kitchen staff. Jimmy doesn't have any excuses anymore. His excuse for months has been, our menu is too big. So we give him a smaller menu to do, and they still can't turn it out. So, I mean, where do we go from here? I need one chicken up on the line right now. With Abby pushing her kitchen staff. I'm not taking this out until it's all up on the line. Can I have a chicken on the line, please? In my hand. OK. They still struggle. Thank you. But manage to get the last entrees out. There we go. And that's, the, that's everything? Start cleaning up. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Now, an unusually calm Abby... Jimmy, come out here. Listen to me. ...is about to let loose. What I saw tonight was the worst shit show I've ever seen. Ever, ever, ever seen. No, I know, I know, I know. It did not go smoothly, but they... they, they smoothly? They, they, Jimmy, we were an hour in before more than two dinners went out. An hour into service. I'm almost accepting that. None of us know what the fuck we're doing, and we can't get to the next step. I'm actually considering that. After tonight, I don't know if I have the staff to get it back. I don't know if we can do it. Tonight's dinner service was plagued by confusion and incompetence in the kitchen. Can I get something up on the line, please? I'm confused on where we are. Come on, is it your first time at the rodeo? Play it up. The problems are obvious to Chef Ramsay, but it's time to find out if Abby is still in denial. Abby, what do you see tonight? What happened is it happens all the time. As soon as the line gets hit with a number of slips at one time, the kitchen folds. It goes down in flames. And um, 
I've lost confidence in my kitchen, um, honestly. Jimmy, I'm not blaming you entirely. I'm looking at the tools you've got to work with, and it's a disaster. Behind that line, there's no way on earth this group of cooks can pull off a new menu. So seeing how frustrating it's been here, I made a call to a very experienced chef in my team to be here. First thing tomorrow morning, getting your crew at a respectable level. It's cool having his chef to help us all out, and it's going to be a good experience for all of us. Tomorrow's comeback day. We're relaunching with a new menu. Let's roll up our sleeves and push it. I mean, really push it. Definitely. Can't wait. I'll see you first thing in the morning. Absolutely. Thank you. Good night. I'm glad that kitchen's going to be shown what to do and how to do it properly, because this is it. It's not only my kitchen's last chance, it's my restaurant's last chance. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, come in. How are we? Good. The chef that I brought in, James, has been here since 6 o'clock this morning, supervising, working his ass off with your team, getting ready for this menu. Today, your menu will be in keeping with your beautiful restaurant and your great service. First up, the appetizers. Come down. Oh. Now, these are appetizers. Squeezing on the eye and fun. Ghost cheese truffle dip, honey spiced chicken wings, meatball sliders. Delicious. Wow. Now we can have a real party in our mouth, Abby. <laughs> <Huh>? Can't wait. <laughs> OK, on to the entrees. The main events, seared lamb chop, classic lobster mac and cheese, bacon wrapped, Angus meatloaf. Yay! Thank you. I want you to get familiar with the new menu. Yes, get up to speed with those dishes, have a little taste. This is awesome. That's money. The new menu is... Yeah, I believe. Kind of surprised that it came out of my kitchen. <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. Bacon wrapped okay. meatloaf. Isn't that awesome? Oh my god, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I had no idea that it could get this good. Oh my god, wow. that's amazing. I've been for years describing this restaurant as creative comfort food. I had no clue. This is creative comfort food. <laughs> oh my god, this is like my dream. <laughs> I've never seen Abby this emotional. Like, she does have a heart in there. She does have a soul. It's amazing. <laughs> there is a God. <laughs> now we just got to make it work. <laughs> it's relaunch night at Down City. And while Abby and Rico get the front of the house ready for the most important night in the restaurant's history. We are going to rock this town tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Back in the kitchen. And then we're going to go here, table by table, until we have to do picks. Yes. Chef James is doing the same with the kitchen staff. Every dish perfect, every time. Looks how are we doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Have you had a chance to look at all the new and fun, exciting menu items that we have? Let's go, guys. Yeah? I want to hear you tonight. I want to hear you too, yes? Let's go. Only minutes into the service, a locally renowned food blogger has arrived. Stacy Place ripped apart her last meal at the restaurant. Happy. You recognize her? Yeah. You know how important she is. But Chef Ramsay convinced her to give it another try. She has 10,000 followers. She blogs tomorrow. We're 10,000 potential customers back up. I've tried everything on this menu today. So if you have any questions, you feel free to ask. Any favorites that we should Oh, yeah, definitely. The goat and cheese truffle dip really stood out for me. Well, that sounds really good. Jimmy, yes. you and I, we're going to be communicating all night. I need the answer 37, 17, and 35. All right. Right now, in the window, I need that fish and chip. I need that slider. Slider's up, Chef. A reinvigorated Jimmy has the kitchen moving in the right direction. Calamari, sliders. Jimmy, keep it going, yeah? Frise salad on the fly. And the new menu is being embraced by the customers. <laughs> wow. But just when it appears as though it's going to be smooth sailing. I need a chowder, a calamari, a slider. Jimmy, did you call a calamari for table 30? I just did. Abby and Jimmy. Listen to me. Are having a communication breakdown. I need four soups and one chowder up in the line, please. That's incorrect. Uh-oh, here we go again. A repeat of last night. The kitchen's going down. We're fucked. Jimmy, focus on 37. Yeah? This is the golden ticket. 
This is it. All right, lead ticket. I need a truffle dip. Truffle dip takes six minutes, yes? Yes, sir. All right, get it in the oven. Jimmy, look at me. We're falling behind. Yeah, Got to work out. together. Yeah. Hey, bro. It has been. Come on, guys, there's nothing coming out. Please. Right, let's get this food out. Give me a time on the truffle dip, please. Jesus, she's not blogging now, yeah. is she? What's she doing? She's definitely blogging. She's blogging live from the table? We've got bloggers live from their table, guys. I need a trouble dip up on the line right now. Urgently, please. I was horrified. We are slipping like the night before. They're blogging as we speak. I wanted to, like, just scream. Come on, guys, I need some food on the line. There's nothing hitting the window. Come on, guys. I need to see some food up on this line. It's taking too long. Literally, my kitchen going down in flames. Listen, Jimmy. One minute, Abigail. And there was literally nothing I could do about it. Abby. Jimmy, I need a truffle dip. Come on, guys. It's 45 minutes into dinner service. Let's get this food out. We've got bloggers live from their table, guys. And an influential food blogger who can greatly affect the future of Down City. I need a truffle dip up on the line right now. Still has not received her appetizers. Abby, two seconds, quickly. Take over. Take over. Let's go. Abby. She's just tweeted, waiting for appetizers, getting hungry. OK, this is not bullshit now. Menu's there, chefs are there, I need you there. Control it. Yeah, I know what you're capable of. Yeah. Yes, and it's been tough for the last couple of days. Yeah. Granted. However, you've got to find your voice. Okay. okay. Come on. All right, OK. Please. Please. It's definitely time to step it up. We want everything to go right with that table, and we're going to get the job done. Listen, Jimmy, they're already blogging that they're waiting too long for food. Let's get this food out. All right, how long on a solo truffle dip? Urgently, please. Truffle dip behind you. Thank you. Truffle dip in the Sally. Caesar's there? With that Caesar, I need sliders and a truffle dip. Come on, guys. Happy. Abby, read that discreetly. Truffle dip, amazing, yes? Yeah. Come on, keep it going, yes? On trays, make sure they come together, OK? Fire that table, please, yeah? Jimmy, What's table up? 37, did you fire? I did fire. Good. That's how we got everything. This is a really good season. With Abby focused on the task at hand. Come on, let's get loud back there. And Jimmy in full control of his kitchen. You guys can fire that fish and chip. Quality entrees are quickly heading out to the dining room. Midrare lamb chops, salmon, ribs, filet. Midrare lamb herd. Food looks amazing. The food looks outstanding. Absolutely amazing. It appears as though blogger Stacy Place has reached her verdict. And she's not the only one. Do you like that? And those chips, aren't they delicious? Yeah. A lot better than last night, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How was everything? Delicious. The great. flavor was right there. Everything was great. Great. Thank you so much for coming in, oh. and we're going to see you again. I was living an absolute kitchen nightmare, and my dream just came true. I'm in absolute shock. Like, this is the restaurant I've always wanted. Those are the last few desserts. Jimmy, it was awesome. Thank you. It's a new Dell city. I'm just absolutely loving it. Right. Last night, I said Down City needed to make a comeback. Tonight, we did just that. Well done. Each and every one of you pulled off a great service. Customers loved the food. Abby, how do you feel, babe? I feel beyond belief fantastic. Looking back at it now, I was so unprofessional. Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Go? Get go. the fuck out of my I restaurant, please. The new Abby is professional. I just want to continue learning. It's just made me such a better leader. Come on in. Give me a hug. You're not going to ask me. I'm going to ask you. That's right. I, Gordon Ramsay, are asking you for a hug. Come here. Huh? Thank you. I absolutely love Chef Ramsay, and uh, I'm going to miss him when he goes. Thank you very much, Russell. This restaurant is getting back on the map that it hasn't been on in a while. And I know it's only going to get better. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Without question, the biggest transformation this week is Abby, which I never expected. As Abby goes, so goes Down City. If she can keep her cool, this restaurant is going to be a huge success. Wow. Party in my mouth, please. Woo. 
after Chef Ramsay left, Chef James stayed on and continued to train the cooks. It gets prepped and put away. Allowing Jimmy the chance to thrive. All right, my meatloaf's being played, and that sells the lead. And Abby rewarded him with a promotion. I wanted to introduce to all of you our head chef, James Berman. Let's give it up. Eager to spread the word about their upgraded restaurant, nice to meet you. Abby and Rico hit the town. This is a crispy pork belly in a lettuce cup. Doing some grassroots marketing by giving out samples of their new menu. It's right down the street, it's walking distance. Yeah. Chef Ramsay saved my restaurant, he really did, but I've got to continue it. I promise him that the next time he comes back, the food will be a 10.